All right, guys, check this out. I'm sure you've all heard of fluoride, you know, fluoride toothpaste, fluoride mouthwash, fluoride this, fluoride that. In fact, fluoride has been the gold standard for preventing cavities for decades, at least in the US. But have you guys heard of hydroxyapatite? By the way, guys, if you're new here, I'm Christina, the hygienist, and this channel is dedicated to answering your oral health questions. So if you have a question, comment it below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, so fluoride versus hydroxyapatite. So first I'm going to be talking about fluoride toothpaste and how it works and kind of all the pros and cons there. And then I'm gonna be talking about hydroxyapatite toothpaste, how it works and all the pros and cons. And then I'll let you guys know which one is better. All right, fluoride toothpaste. So the way it works is when you brush your teeth, it mixes with your saliva, specifically with the calcium and phosphate ions in your saliva. And it kind of sucks those ingredients into itself and sticks to your teeth, forming this fluorapatite band-aid that helps to protect against future acid attacks, which cause cavities and it helps to remineralize areas of small cavities that are just starting or areas of demineralization. A couple of things about fluoride. Number one, it needs your saliva to be effective. Spoiler alert, it's kind of a problem if you struggle with dry mouth. Fluoride is not as effective if you don't have enough saliva for it to mix with to form this fluorapatite band-aid. Oh. The other thing about fluoride is it's dose dependent, meaning the more you use, the more effective it is but there's also a limit to how much fluoride you can use because it can be toxic to your body at higher concentration. So that's basically fluoride for you. Moving on to hydroxyapatite toothpaste. So hydroxyapatite toothpaste also helps prevent cavities by remineralizing your tooth structure or demineralized areas, but it works a little bit differently than fluoride. Hydroxyapatite toothpaste doesn't need your saliva to work its magic because it actually is already made up of calcium and phosphate elements or ions. Bonus points to hydroxyapatite right then and there because it doesn't depend on your saliva or how much saliva you have in your mouth to work its magic. The other thing is it's biocompatible and biomimetic, meaning your teeth recognize this substance. Our teeth are actually made up mostly of hydroxyapatite. So when you introduce hydroxyapatite toothpaste to your teeth, they're like, oh hey, we know you, come here. Versus with fluoride, your teeth are like, oh hey, who are you? okay, I guess do your thing. I don't know. Your teeth actually absorb the hydroxyapatite and get remineralized from the inside out. Because of this, another cool thing about hydroxyapatite is it actually kind of smooths out any imperfections on your enamel, like microscopic fissures or little fractures or just little pores on your enamel. It helps to kind of rebuild those so that your teeth get glossier and smoother. This is awesome for folks who have more porous enamel like myself, because if you have smoother teeth, you're less prone to staining and less prone to plaque building up because your teeth aren't as porous for stuff to get stuck in there. Plus hydroxyapatite helps with sensitivity because it closes off those pores it helps to desensitize areas that are hypersensitive. So actually one way to think of it, like fluoride toothpaste versus hydroxyapatite toothpaste, I love analogies, so think of it this way. Fluoride toothpaste is like, say you're sitting there and you're really cold, you kind of just pull a blanket over yourself and that's fluoride toothpaste. And, and you're sitting there and you're like huddled and trying to get warm with this blanket. And eventually you do get warm, but it just takes a while. And you know, as soon as you take the blanket off, it's um, you're back to being cold again. Hydroxyapatite is more like drinking a cup of hot tea. You know, you're getting warm from the inside out and you don't even need a blanket afterwards. Okay, so all these things are good, but the ultimate question is which one is better at protecting against cavities? The good news is studies have shown that side by side, fluoride and hydroxyapatite are pretty much equal in terms of helping protect against cavities. Remember how I said in the US, fluoride has been the gold standard for preventing against cavities? Well, in Japan, hydroxyapatite has been the gold standard. And that just makes me think a little bit. I don't know, I feel like maybe Japan is a little more advanced than us in dentistry. So ultimately, with all the research that I've done and everything, I'm actually super excited to try out my first tube of hydroxyapatite toothpaste. I don't know where you guys are watching from, but currently in the US, there are two brands that I'm aware of that sell hydroxyapatite toothpaste. One is called Boca and the other is Rise Well. I just ordered a tube of Boca toothpaste and I'm super excited to try it out and see the results. You guys can definitely expect a follow-up video on that maybe in a few weeks after I've tried it out and seen some results. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of your teeth.